Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com, and today we're talking about nine simple rules for a committed relationship. How's that supposed to work? Well, let's find out. Yeah, I know. Falling in love is easy, or at least it's supposed to be. And staying in love, though, well, that takes a little bit more effort, time, and energy. And if that intimidates you or scares you a little bit, well, good, because that means you respect the fact that a relationship takes that kind of energy and work to make it work. So what I want to do is explain some of the, um, the men's rules for commitment so that you know how to forge a relationship that will stand the test of time. So let's start with rule number one. Love isn't conditional, but try anyway. Yeah, the truth is that there really is no such thing as unconditional love. It's not that we're selfish in love, or we're all selfish, but we do all start out that way. If you were in a relationship that didn't meet your needs, how long would it take you to go out and find somebody else that actually did meet them? My guess is not very long. We're at our best when we are giving without that need to get the return. Sometimes we start out giving, but realize we're just hiding our need to get something from the other person. Rule number two, have sex every time you possibly can. I know this is one of those rules that you have to take on faith until you realize the benefits, but let's face it, it's a pretty good and pretty fun rule to try out. For men, making love is a connection, an active connection-making activity as much as it is a physical release. Men fall in love more with women that they have a healthy, open sexual relationship with. When you over-satisfy his needs, you'll see that his commitment level increases through the roof with you. Rule number three, communicate all the time. Go out of your way to talk to him. Now, this is one of those rules that you still have to exercise some common sense with. Of course, I'm not saying to commit, communicate every single thought you have with him, but you should try to open up and share how you feel whenever you can, especially when you're feeling something good in the relationship because men need to know when they're doing right by you because we almost never hear about it when we are. So talk to him about your feelings without making him feel responsible for those feelings or that he's being flooded with those feelings and he will respond to you and he'll deepen that connection. Rule number four is stay cool and loving in arguments. Now, I usually take note of arguments between men and women. I like to observe them whenever I can, if it's not too awkward, because it gives you an idea of the dynamic between the two of them and their relationship. And one of the things I've noticed is that we tend to hold on to things from previous arguments, and they all come out all over again because they're just not really resolved. And what that ends up doing is it infuses our relationship with contempt and a really bad level of ill will. Learn to forgive him without holding a grudge. You gotta learn how to let it go. And as hard as it might be, forgiveness is one of those essential qualities of love that will make the most difference in your relationship. Rule number five is be willing to say what needs to be said. Women often avoid any kind of confrontation in a relationship. Part of the way females are socialized is that being contentious or confrontational or being difficult is frowned upon as being bitchy behavior. Very often it's punished within the behaviors of the group get along to go along, as they say. But getting to do anything he wants in a relationship is a sign of danger to a man. He realizes when he's got no limits and uh, he'll, he'll act out on that. Men will push their boundaries until they realize they can get away with anything and then he loses respect for you. So don't let him get away with it. Rule number six, be his best friend. Yeah, I know that's one of the most cl repeated cliches in relationships, but it's really true that you need to be working on your friendship with him just as much as the romance. And in order to make that relationship work, you have to strip away all the pretenses and get right down to the nitty gritty. Be his truest best friend. Rule number seven is work past your insecurities. Look, it's gonna happen. You might find yourself crushing a little bit on some other guy while you're in your loving, caring, perfectly great relationship. It's normal, it's natural, and it's nothing that you should consider being unfaithful or strange. When you're in the most loving of relationships, you're always gonna find other people interesting, and that's okay. It doesn't mean that either or both of you are gonna be unfaithful, but it does mean that you have to get a hold of your insecurities because when he sparks a little interest or flirts with somebody else, how are you gonna behave when you have that happen? You gotta handle those insecurities and know what you can and can't handle. Rule number eight is spend a lot of time doing absolutely nothing with him. Guys have an interesting behavior that most women don't understand, but here it is anyway. Men are more devoted, more loyal, and more invested in relationships where they spend a lot of relaxed time with their girl, meaning doing nothing. 
Guys need lots and lots of empty time with you that makes him feel comfortable and safe with you. So make sure you do that. Rule number nine is compliment the you know what out of him. Women use compliments as a social currency. When a woman pays a compliment, it's assumed that she'll probably get something back, right? Even if the compliments aren't always truthful. It's simply how many women interact, both in groups and one-on-one. -on -one. But men go through life receiving very few compliments. Guys are so often hungry for compliments that he can't even find it in himself to give them out. He's just famished, right? It's kind of an appreciation deficit. So if you get the chance, uh, appreciate him in the way that he dresses or how masculine he is and how he fulfills you within the relationship. Any little thing can be used as a way to compliment a man. And when you do that, you're going to find that he is going to really be there for you. And again, this is creating complete commitment with him. Now, I want to let you know that I've actually completed a really cool training video about commitment and how complete commitment works with men. If you want to go over and see it, go on over to datingadviceguru.com, little link you see below here, datingadviceguru.com forward slash, what else? Commitment. datingadviceguru.com forward slash commitment. It's an excellent explanation of something that every woman needs to know, and that's something called the love law and this thing called the Cupid effect with men. If you want to know what those are, go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash commitment and go watch that short presentation. And until I see you again, this is Carlos Capallo from datingadviceguru.com forward slash commitment. Go on over, I'll be talking to you again soon, and as always, live and love with passion.